Alright, today we're going to do what I call a touch up on the paint. Um, me being in school and having other cars to work on, I don't have enough money to paint this car. I'm sure it's probably going to be five, six, seven thousand dollars to paint this humongous car plus all the prep and all that kind of fun stuff. So, what I'm going to do is just make it look just a little bit better. Um, it's very popular nowadays to do what they call clear coat patina. Now this car, I guess it has some kind of patina, but I don't like rust spots or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub down the whole car with Scotch-Brite. Now the paint on this car really isn't savable. Um, I've tried buffing it out, <clears throat> but what it does is it just soaks in all the uh, compound and then it just looks cloudy and you can see all the streaks in it and all that kind of stuff. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to use, first we're going to use a Scotch-Brite to rough up the surface. It also does two things. It removes rust and also removes a lot of the dirt that's stuck onto the paint since it does kind of dig down into it a little bit. And then after that we're going to throw some clear on it. Um, what I like about it is that it it kind of brings the color out a little bit and it blends the uh, the primer spots where the paint is burned through with the uh, actual red on the car. So let me go ahead and show you the other side of the car um, where I've actually already finished this. And let me show you what it looks like. So remember this, what this looks like. And there's the other side. So, like I said, you can still see all the scratches and imperfections and all that kind of stuff on it. But it does bring out the color a little bit and does make it shine just a little bit better. I like it. I know some of some of you guys are gonna be like, "What are you doing?" Blah blah blah. But you know what? If you'd like to donate to me to get a uh, get this car painted correctly and professionally then there's the link below to my PayPal email feel free to donate and since I'm sure none of you are gonna do that I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I've been doing so let's go ahead and uh, start on the trunk so here's a part that I have already I guess sanded down with Scotch-Brite and you can see I mean just look at all the dirt I mean this car was under a tree for, probably for a decade and all the crap from the tree just landed on it so you know, it does clean it up a little bit. Another thing that I do like is that it does take care of a lot of the rust spots on the trunk. So, I mean, you can still see a little bit, which is cool because that kind of adds to it, but um, it will definitely won't look like that once I'm done. So. That's the plan for it, so I'll make a another video when I'm done. You can see you know, all the dirt that won't come off with soap and water. This is actually the door right here that I tried to buff out. You can see the reflection of the towel, but pretty much anything from here down is all that will buff out, all the rest of it. It just clouds up just like this. Looks really crappy. So the sanding it will get it all one uniform color. You can see how this side isn't glossy doesn't look that great you come over to here it's not perfect it's never gonna be but it's presentable so that side looks just a little bit better since the paint on this car isn't original I'm not really worried about it but that with clear I believe it's going to look a lot different than just dirt. Less rusty, I guess. But the real the real difference comes out when the clear comes on onto the parts that have color.
All right, and here is the finished product. Of course, it's not as nice as a real paint job, but you know, for 15 bucks and a roll of tape, not too bad. I, mean, I think it makes it look a lot better. Like always, stuff always looks better on camera or in photos and does in person. But you know what? It is what it is. I don't have the money to make a show car, so. Hopefully you guys can tell a little bit of a difference. I know it got darker. That's one thing it did that did happen to it, but definitely better in my opinion. The shot of the whole car. So next up is welding in the floors and putting in all the weather stripping that I bought. So stay tuned for that. 